For the past week, city officials have been working to find ways to provide their reform residents with water. Some locals are without water completely, while others are experiencing low water pressure. Due to this problem before elementary and Pickens County High School has moved to virtual learning for the time being. This morning, at one time when I went and cut the water on, it wasn't in a pressure, and I thought the water was off. But then when I went into the bathroom, it was low pressure. It's hard to not have water to cook with, to bathe with, or whatever. When we covered the reform water problem a few weeks ago, it was due to someone running into a fire hydrant. We spoke with city engineer Jonathan Bonner about how recent weather conditions have made it much harder to find leaks. Between Thursday and Sunday, we had isolated and repaired 10 major leaks. Uh, and we had actually started gaining water again in the tank. Not a lot, but we'd start gaining again. And then overnight we started dropping again. And what we think is going on is as it warms up and things start to thaw out, then we may have services that are broken at abandoned houses or pipes in the ground that we just don't know where it's leaking at. Bonner says the problem with finding these is the fact that it rained Monday morning, which makes it very hard to see the leaks. Right now they are isolating sections of the town one at a time to try to see recovery in the tank so they can narrow down which section has the issue. Reform Mayor Melody Davis says locals can come by City Hall to get free water bottles and to fill up containers of water from the water truck. This water can be used to flush bathroom toilets and to clean, but it has been advised to boil the water before use. In Reform, I'm Ajene Robinson, WVUA 23 News.